Hey guys, I'm going to do a video without the metal highlight on. This is just the uh, <clears throat> the actinics on. Uh, I think, like I said in the last video, <clears throat> that I would be getting some more rock than I did. I've got two big pieces here. There's a, a piece that kind of goes right there. One piece. And this piece right here is all one big piece that wraps around. It just had a big spot right here that was empty so I set the other piece right there um, as far as my Xenia it's uh, when I had when I didn't have this uh, new rock in here I didn't have a place in here that was low flow and I think they kind of went through shock for being in such high flow I mean they're little feathered ends aren't as feathery looking anymore they're just like lines would they look like broke off I don't know I mean they're still pulsing I finally got them in a place where they're not as uh sorry about that I had to go check on something um I mean they still get a little flow but I think they weren't doing so well in high flow. And I remember I commented on one of my uh, old videos asking about Xenia if they're high flow or low flow. And I'm only guessing that they do better in a little bit lower flow, not so darn high. Because they weren't pulsing at all and they just looked a little shriveled up. But they seem to be doing a lot better right there. Um, I'm really enjoying this new rock I swear to God there's like so many pieces and spots all over this rock they have just big dark purple spots of coral and algae and this one is like awesome if you can tell like all the way around it there's just tons of little bitty heads popping up all over the place it's uh it's doing pretty darn good it keeps there's always new little heads popping up everywhere around it and then that's another little frag of zoanthids from the original green frag that i got you can see they're doing pretty good opening up a lot and look how many heads are now on here they're like everywhere if y'all remember from the original piece when I like I when I originally got this there wasn't that many heads on it all there was was the two uh, the two on the right the two larger ones on the right and uh, those few pieces right there were on it and of course that piece back there was on it and that, that was all the the heads it had on there and that's how many it has now still pretty darn good I do like the color on it but as things keep going by I'm actually enjoying these more I like these a little bit more now might be because they're growing really really fast too um, I showed a couple of friends some videos of my aquarium on my phone and this ball of zoom that seems to be everybody's favorite they just like the way it looks I'm gonna focus on it a little bit yeah I really like the way those look uh, the green star polyps are doing pretty good they're slowly spreading on the underside of the rock if you can see those little ones and then uh like the lights just came on so not all of them are out it's usually a lot thicker there towards the middle too I'm trying to make sure they got some good flow there and moving around a lot and of course there's underneath that hermit crab right there in the middle of the screen there was a little piece of uh, star pops that I tore off that original frag or piece and uh, they seem to have taken a hold of inside the crevice of that rock Kenya tree is doing pretty good. Uh, it's the little one down there. It's like a whole nother. Uh, let's see. 
it's doing all right I don't know if it's not getting enough light or what I mean I mean would anybody suggest like cutting it and placing it somewhere else or is it too small to frag or what mushrooms doing pretty good as you can tell the other one's not here I moved him up here he kept moving and moving and moving and he started to cover up his pops right here and I didn't like that so uh, I put him right here uh, just uh, two days ago and he seems to be alright with it. I mean the flow might be a little bit more than what he's used to down here but uh, I think I think it'll work out I'm hoping it'll work out overall this is what the aquarium looks like with more rock in it I like I'm really liking the more rock in it because if you remember it was like only half of this right here was rock there was nothing else up here uh, as far as the uh, hang on back refusium and protein skimmer that's what it looks like I got the uh, Kato on the top you got a little sponge there to keep it from going into the display tank it floats and I like it because I also have a I think it's an Aquion hang on back filter for a little added extra filtration and with that uh, the Kato being right there it kind of acts as a splash guard and keeps it from splashing out so high it still splashes and when the bubbles pop they still go up but it's not as high as it was because it was starting to get on the back of the wall and it's not really cool uh, the skimmer is doing a pretty good job like this is two days worth of skimming um, also, I did get the refugium light. I'm not sure if I told y'all about that in the last video or not, but the refugium light did come in. And uh, since it's been on, that Kato is actually like taken off. Um, something else I want to show you. Uh, I noticed a lot of people. No, not a lot of people. I've heard a few uh, YouTube people talk about. Uh, the biggest problem in their aquariums is you need good flow and good flow everywhere now it might look like my rocks are stacked up from the bottom of the tank all the way up but they're not like I originally said they're actually just stacked in a U form right here and that's the only rock actually touching the sand so to keep up the flow I have this uh, water pump you know pushing all the water this way and I have that one Right there, pushing the water that way, but it goes under the rocks. And as you can see, there's nothing back here. These rocks are uh, set up and leaned against the back of the glass, so that way the water can flow through and under the rocks just as much as it is in the front. You know, I'm trying to make sure I don't have any dead spots or anywhere that stagnates. And I think that's uh, I think that's a pretty good set up the way I have it I think so it's working uh, see other than that still being nerdy there's the uh, Coraline algae growing on the it, look, it seems like growing on the bottom because I always have it like this the Coraline is growing on the bottom of the uh, glass cleaner magnet I also uh, raised up the light a little more. I noticed the coralline algae in my aquarium wasn't thriving and I actually had some uh, coralline die off. I don't know if that's normal, but if you notice the difference between the new live rock and the old rock, these pieces right here and this piece right here, and I started having some good coralline growth on here. Now they're just, they don't have much color to them anymore. And uh, I noticed, and I, I forgot to keep an eye on it and I noticed the temperature in the aquarium was getting kind of high here and there so I think that's probably what caused the coralline to die none of the corals showed any sign of suffering or anything but I noticed that so I'm wanting the rest of the rocks to get a lot of color back just like those on the top so the lights been uh, raised up 
off the aquarium a good seven inches six or seven inches and uh, I had to work all day yesterday so I didn't know since I've done this I haven't been able to I haven't been here to monitor it to see how it's affected the temperature of the tank so but today I'll be able to check throughout the rest of the day um, so <clears throat> that's pretty much the update of the aquarium you can see the Kato's taken off I've got an extra hanging back filter from the old 10 gallon aquarium aquarium filter the skimmer's doing pretty good uh, and that sponge back there to keep the Kato from getting into the display tank uh, I believe I have some pretty good circulation going on in the aquarium now that I've repositioned the Xenia I'm hoping that they'll do better the rest of the corals seem to be doing pretty darn well and growing really fast like these these red zoanthids and the green zoanthids on this this one right here um, and that's that's pretty much it guys uh, rate comment subscribe like blah 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 all that other good stuff and uh, tell me what you think guys alright bye